Our eighth bout of the evening should be something special indeed. From Australia, it's Judd Reed, one of the stars of Australian full contact karate. Up against Stephen Takua from New Zealand on the right of screen. Your third man in centering, Jim Phillips. This should be an explosive bout. Well, Keep an eye on the kicks of Judd Reed in particular. Honed, trained in Japan. A thousand days of training he did at Kyokushin headquarters in Japan under the late Sosei Masoyama. Well, I trained with Judd Reed when he was about 16 years old, so that's probably showing my age a little there. But uh, he was always an outstanding student, even as a youngster, teenager. He was something special on the uh, on the dojo floor, and uh, he's just picked up from uh, from that and matured into a very uh, accomplished uh, adult fighter. Reed just lining up the high left round kick to the head. Takua just stalking him. Very tough for New Zealand fighters. Takua just checking the low kick. Reed now drilling with a couple of punches to the body. Takua just tucking his gi back into his belt. A quick, a quick look at the weight and experience. Reed 90 kilo, Takua 87. 14 years experience, Reed. 18 years, Takua. So there's the uh, experience weight ratio. Fairly evenly matched, although Takua's got four years more training uh, under, under his belt than uh, Judd Reed. Judd Reed. Aggression. Is nice axe pull? kick there from Judd. He'll Almost pull, found the mark. He'll pull those kicks out from all sorts of, uh, of angles, Michael. Judd Reed. In close, Takua with the body shots. A close range knee. The reply there from Judd Reed. And a leg kick to the outside left thigh. There's a whipping round kick to the right ribs of Stephen Takua from New Zealand. Reed's just going to have to watch uh, the, the uh, grabbing and pushing. Well, both fighters will. Judd Reed just slamming that leg kick downstairs. He's going to have to keep it clean. Takua hooking his shots to the body. A right knee by Reed. He's looking strong in New Zealand, though, Michael. He's, uh, he's coming along quite well, powering in with his punches, Takua. A tough opponent indeed for Judd Reed. Reed just stalking him. Crescent kick. Then the round kick to the ribs. Takua trying to get underneath with some punches to the sternum. A gripping contest so far. Reed staying in close. Reverse punch with the left hand. Goes downstairs with a leg kick. Takua tried to get that round kick up nice and high. Well, Stephen Takua is uh, the aggressor at this stage. Oh, spinning back kick there from Takua. Nicely done. And Judd Reed slams a leg kick to the outside left thigh. And there's the end of the first round of action. Earlier on tonight, we spoke to Judd Reed. Judd, you've also um, uh, had an achievement which no other Australian has had. You're the only Australian to have ever lived in at Saulsai's Hombu Dojo for three years. Can you tell us about that? Um, it was a three-year course. It was first year, second year, third year. Um, basically, it was designed a thousand-day course which Saulsai did himself about 1950s in the mountains. So he wanted to, some students to do the same thing as he did. So every day was basically strict, um, strict training and trying to follow a strict karate way of living. And it helped you for your preparation with tournaments? It did, that hard training I did. Um, fortunately, it stuck with me for, throughout the whole tournaments. Even if I seem to slack off a little bit, that hard training it still, still stays with me to today. And Judd Reed there just talking about the late Sosei Masoyama, the founder of Kyokushin Karate and the founder of Full Contact Karate, as we're seeing here tonight. And a man who really spread karate from Japan to all around the world by way of his amazing feats of strength, which of course included, historically, when Sosayama fought 300 opponents consecutively over three days in bare knuckle combat, one after the other, and defeated them all. Nobody has repeated that feat since. And the furthest that, furthest that anyone's really gone, Mark, has been the 100-man kumite, and only very few have completed that. Well, the 100-man kumite, that's 100 consecutive opponents, different different uh, opponents, a fresh one each time. And uh, also, so say Masu Yama has uh, done some other miraculous feats, such as fighting a bull and uh, beating it bare-fisted.
killing a bull, a charging bull. So certainly uh, uh, a magic man of his time was Masuyama, and still today is uh, is one of the legends of uh, full contact karate and martial arts. Well, we have two charging bulls here in centre ring in the form of Judd Reed from Australia wearing the red tag and Stephen Takua from New Zealand. Reed just sizing Takua up. The New Zealander has the slight height advantage. Reed moves in, goes downstairs, Takua checks the leg kick and just forces the New Zealander out of the ring. I feel that Judd Reed uh, doesn't want to give Takua too much room to move. That's why he keeps pushing forward and trying to nullify his hand techniques. Because Takua is a very strong punching fighter. And that uh, could be why Judd Reed's just there trying to nullify his hands and work the legs underneath. Him, underneath. Takua powering away at the body with those punches. Reed, close quarters knee. Fires in a hook to the ribs. Reed just trying to measure him. Oh, there it is! A spinning hook kick from heaven by Judd Reed. Puts the New Zealander down. Take away his stunt mark. He's got three seconds to get up. But uh, I think uh, the time went over. It's all over. It's a Nippon win and knockout victory for Judd Reed. Judd. What a sensational spinning hook kick from the Aussie Mark the Hammer. Time to perfectly. Judd Reed taking Takua out with that spinning hook kick. Takua had three seconds to get up for the fight he's given hip on or KO. And that is a KO win to Judd Reed. Well, the crowd here at the arena in Geelong out of their seats with that Ippon victory to Judd Reed. Let's have a look again, Mark. Well, what an awesome knockout victory by Judd Reed. Here we see him measuring off his distance, lining up the kick, and there it is. Heel to the temple of Takua, and he's out of there.